Uh, my name is Ramona Garcia. Um, I'm a paper mache artist and uh, as well as a visual artist. My family is from a state in uh, Mexico called Guanajuato and the paper mache doll is said to have originated from the city of Celaya, which is in Guanajuato. During the time of the Mexican Revolution, families did not have a lot of means to buy toys for their children, and especially the more expensive ceramic or plastic toys. The artisans of the time came up with an idea to just sort of reproduce some of these toys in a cheaper way. It's interesting because I've always seen these dolls around uh, my grandmother's house or my aunt's house, but I never really thought too much about them or noticed the cultural significance of it. I uh, grew up with Barbies, um, probably like many other girls of my generation. Then I realized growing up, um, you know, this is the only item that you have to look up to, and so it's kind of your standard of beauty. I was actually ending uh, my last year at college and I was also going through a healing journey of um, healing from disorder eating and so the paper mache doll kind of just struck me as this symbol for what I was going through at the time and it became kind of like a charm or, or talisman for me to mark that time. I realized that they, there were not a lot of artisans making them anymore. I came across a house that had a lot of dolls drying, like just on the sidewalk outside. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so I knocked on the door and sure enough, um, the artisan came out. Her name was Doña Juanita and she actually became my maestra, my teacher, and taught me um, about the paper mache dolls and how they are made. The way that the paper mache doll is made and constructed, it comes in pieces. So in the process of making one, you are actually putting the doll together and that had so much meaning to me. The layers of paper are very thin. My goal is to share about the history and the beauty of this art and also integrate it with a little bit of art therapy and mental health. And so some of the workshops that I'm teaching right now incorporate a little bit of both. Paper is not perfect, it has all these crevices. And so when working with a doll, I remind folks that it does not have to look like the dolls that you've seen. It doesn't have to be perfect. We find beauty in um, any situation, hard situation that we find ourselves in in life. And that to do so with art is just such a beautiful, symbolic way um, of coming across the beauty and touching the world of beauty with your hands.